If you're eating from a cup, are name brands, what's up? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. When you think of on the go snacks, the first thing you probably think of is dry stuff, cookies, nuts, Chex Mix, or in my case, a specially curated bag of nothing but foldy chips. I love a good fold. You got ever curate your own bag of foldy chips? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you do that on your weekend? That, that's what you do on the weekend. Foldy chips for road trips, that's what I say. But what if you're out on the town and craving something a little less dry and a little more goopy? That's when you reach for the snack cup. Now I love a good snack cup. Oh. Love must be in the air. Like. Love is in the air and today we're gonna do you a solid when it comes to the goop. We're gonna find out if generic grocery store snack cups are just as good as the name brands. It's time for Knock Off Knockout Snack Cups Edition. Stevie, what are we cupping with the snacks? In each snack category, you'll be tasting four different snack cups and trying to correctly identify the big name brand from the generics. The loser okay. will have to take a bite from the ultimate snack cup, which is a cup filled with every name brand snack from today's episode. I thought you were going to say every, every name brand snack in the world. <laughs> Could be bad. All right, let's kick things off with some fruit cups. You are looking for Dole. 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 Not Del Monte. You know what? That's an important distinction. I mean, there's not the other ones are all generic, so there's no Del Monte lurking. Uh, Del Monte could always be lurking. Now this one is dark. I would the, the say, I would say that it's uh, not just dark. I would say that it looks faded. You I want. I'm saying like it's not colorful. I want a peach. I want a pear. I'm assuming you avoid all the cherries. And I want the juice. And I'm leaving the cherry for you. Quite tasty though. Let's compare it to this one. Hmm. Quite tasty. I didn't think it was that great. This one for looks, a fruit cup looks a little more viscous in the syrup arena. Quite sweet. I, I'm really tasting the cherry in this one. The cherry is permeated. I want the cherry to stay in cherry land. Hmm. Okay. And look at the look at the cherries in this one. They're like dyed. They're probably all. Oh, this one. I think they get the cherries from the same place. Really? Cherry land. Now this one, the fruit is a lot softer. That one, this one's, this one's my flavor. And this is another faded one. This, this is a lot of what pineapple. What the heck on it. is this? Just a bunch of white pineapple. You know what fruit Super I think is, is underrated, deserves a little more love. The pear. I've been into pears lately. A every every time I eat a pear, I'm like, more of this in my life. I hiked to the uh, top of a mountain recently and ate a pear at the top. Did you find a pear up there? No, I took it with me. You took it with you? I took a pear with me. You kept telling yourself, if I make it to the top, I'll, I'll get, get to eat that pear. I'll get, you get to eat your pear. There's nothing like a pear sitting on top of a mountain and eating a pear. Mountaintop pear. Mountaintop pear is what I called it. Okay. I'm ready to vote. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm. Three, two. One. Wham! This one's the best, man. This one's the best. Um, these two basically have a very similar um, look. They're the most classic looking. That one, that one scares me, and this one is just tepid. The Dole Cherry Fruit Mix Cup is in cup <laughs> number four. What? 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 What are they doing? They're doing a lot of pineapple because the so, Dole because family, dull. the Dole family, loves the pineapple. Oh, they really up the ratio. I think me and you were in Del Monte land. We were in Del Monte land. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. one? What, 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 so what, the other what, ones the were ones? Kroger brand, Got great, little brown. great value by Walmart, hmm? and Market Pantry from Target. Market Pantry is my pick. And so I would achieve some savings and more enjoyment. That's a win-win. Yeah, you you you'd be in the market pantry thinking you're in Del Monte land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd spend that extra money on pears. I'd put it in a jar and just the pear jar feel more secure. It's time for shells and cheese, and you're gonna be looking for Velveeta. Velveeta. And this this round really matters. May I ask you to do something for me? Hit my spoon twice like that? No. 
Um, I would okay. like for you Bang. to pick up each of these and give me an ASMR stir because that's part of what matters. Okay. Next one. Okay. Oh. Same. Well, if you want to call it the same. I don't this know. This one's a little drier. Felt different. Felt different. I feel like I'm going to pollute it. And then finally. Yeah. That one's dry too. That was everything I wanted it to be. I love shells and cheese. Have we ever determined that shells are the best receptacle for cheese? Because I think they are. Have we ever said that on the show? I think the Mythical Kitchen did that. Was there, was there an exercise in that on the Mythical Kitchen? A myth muncher. Yeah. It was a myth. It was a myth muncher. And shells are the best. Yeah. So that. It's kind of bland. Well, none of them have salt and pepper, but like this one is oranger and it looks thicker. It looks thicker. It looks better. The difference in flavor between one and two is monumental. Yeah. It's like the difference before I ate that pear and after I ate that pear at the top of the mountain. No, number two is is going to be hard to beat. I mean, this one's thick. Oh, that's pretty tasty. It might be better. It's different for sure. I'm gonna immediately come back to this one just to. And then I'm going for number four. You gotta keep pressing on before you go back, man. Oh, there's no rules, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the cheese isn't bringing it over here. Hmm. Really comes down to this. And this. I'm about to poke me in the eye with a spoon. Well, I could have poked you right in the mouth. What is, what is that nursery rhyme that gag me, gag me with a spoon? That's a nursery rhyme? My mom used to tell it to me. Your mama made that up. <laughs> it was like a taunt. Something, 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 gag me with a spoon. Like, my, my mom would say it. You couldn't be blank. How, listen, how many times do you have to tell us something from your childhood that no one else knows about because your family made it up? Now, here's the thing though. Somebody in the comments is like, my grandma told me to gag me with a spoon. Okay, all right, we know. It's fine. Beat, it's, it, wasn't like, it wasn't like whoop me with a spoon. Well, gagging is not great. Ready something, 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 gag me with a spoon. She would taunt me all the time. I'll have to call her. Yeah. I love it. Mom, death. what was that about gagging me with a spoon? <laughs> oh, I thought you forgot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Three, oh. two, one. It's gotta be this one, right? This one's the best. This one is very good. That's notable. But the cheese on that one is more Velveeta-ish. The Velveeta is in cup number two. Mm, what is dang. number three? Well, can you guess what number three is? Kroger. Kraft? Yeah, it's Kroger. Oh, yes. No, it's not Kraft, not another, that's not how this game it. works. Kroger Kroger comes through for us. Now here's the thing I'll say about- That is good, the, Krog. The, the, the cheese is much smoother in the Velveeta, which I thought that it would yeah. be a little bit more yellow, but it doesn't make sense because Velveeta melts so nice. But the number one was just like bland city. Well, that's great value. No, it's actually because it's simple truth from Kroger, so that's like the one that's good for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. the simple truth is it's not very good. Yep. <laughs> and then the last one is Great Value by Walmart. Yeah. It's okay. No, it wasn't. Okay, so these are strawberry gelatin snack cups, okay. and uh, I'm calling it that because only Jello can legally call itself Jello, and that's what you're looking for, Jello. And also, this round's a little bit different because we discovered in our research that no, like virtually no gen generic store brands make gelatin to compete with Jello. So for this round, the three other brands are just like really small brands that you haven't heard of. Interesting. It, well, it's a lot of trouble. A, it's a lot of trouble because of the hooves. Yeah. You got to find hooves, and Jello's really got the corner on the hoof market. This is the deepest red over here. The deepest red. That's rich. That's a party in my mouth. That's a, like. Like, that, you really like that's Jello? Got, that's got, no, but it's just got a lot of flavor. I'm just describing it. I'm doing my job. Okay. 
But no, I don't like Jello. It makes me think of hospitalization. What about pear Jello? They got pear Jello? Mountaintop pear Jello. What if you got up to the top and there was a stand? There was just like a dude with his beard was so long he didn't have to wear clothes. You'd sell. He'd sell out every day. And he was selling beer. You get to the top I mean, of that mountain. Beer jello. You want it, you want anything and everything. That wasn't so strange flavor to me. It's like artificially sweetened. Is what yeah. it tastes like. It just it tastes more like a sweetener than it does about like than strawberryness. This one, though, that tastes like grape. That tastes like grape. <laughs> Tell me that doesn't taste like grape. Well, I, I now that I'm saying it doesn't taste like grape, but um, it's there's not a lot of flavor, y'all. Okay. Gag me with a spoon. Uh, did you you looked it up, Carney? Yeah. And just the saying, no, no nursery rhyme. So the saying, what does the saying mean? That's, like, that's gross. Oh, that's gross? Gag me with a spoon. That tastes like bubble gum. Wow. That's a weird one. All right. Ugh, I feel like these right. all have very distinct, I, I thought this was gonna be really hard and maybe I'm wrong. Bubble but, gum, nothing. But one of them tastes like what I remember Jello tasting like. Okay. A three, two, one. If it's not Wait. number one, then I don't know what. Well, there you go, because it is in cup number one. Yeah. Yes. These were so much so better. different. And so, and so much better. You're right. It is it is much better. The other ones are the treat life, oh. Winky, Winky, and Raymundos. Raymundos, um, Winky Raymundos, star of this sweet life. Treat life. I, I gotta say, street life. Kroger, no, not street. Kroger treat. and Great Value and all y'all. If you, if y'all can get hold of some hooves, I really think there's an opportunity here, because Winky is not doing a good job. And Winky and Ramundo and whatever else you said. Winky. There's an, there's an opportunity here. <laughs> to celebrate the four year anniversary of the Mythical Society, we're doing some deals, y'all. First degree monthly, you can get for $2. What? First degree annual, you can get for $22. That's about 60% 60 per, 60 off if you pay for the whole year. Wow. For new members or current members, you can upgrade to annual and tomorrow is the last day to do so, okay? MythicalSociety.com, now is the time. Come on, come on. Okay, Let's this is it. the oatmeal round, and um, yeah, we're gonna use so. maple brown sugar flavor across the board, and you're looking for Quaker. Quaker. I'm looking for a Quaker. Not the first time I've done that. Sometimes they, I'll just go out on the weekends looking for a Quaker. Well, when they get, when it's you It's a got, little game I play with myself. Well, they don't have cell phones, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's hard to find them. It, the first year I played it, uh, I was looking for people with a certain type of hat, and then I realized that that was just a stereotype. Right. right. Is them not having cell phones also a stereotype? I'm sorry, Quakers. What do you Quakers think? Quakers can be, anyone can be a Quaker, which is what makes the game so fun. <laughs> That's a good oatmeal. What it turned into me. Are you a Quaker? But yeah, it just turned into me asking people if they're a Quaker. That's the game. It's a good conversation starter. What do you think the psychological impact of growing up with a mom who's constantly asking you to gaggle with a spoon is? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, exactly. We are experiencing it every single day. <laughs> Number two is chunkier, less, less flavorful. flavorful. I'll tell you, we are we are doing y'all a solid on That's the goop right. today. We are right in the same bowl. I, mm, I didn't really like the third one. What? <laughs> my eyes were closed and I just felt like you were whispering in my ear. I didn't ear. really like the third one. <laughs> the fourth one's dark. I actually really like the third one. It's, oh! very, it's very thick. Lots of flavor that I don't like from the, it's so from brown. the last one. This last one. Got it. Mm. Got it. I'm, oatmeal is so it. bland and mushy. I love it. Ready? I love it. Three. Oh. Two. Uh, hold on. What? I forgot to think. Uh, okay. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. I was. I love oatmeal. That's all I've learned. One. Two. It's, either, it's either one or three. No doubt about that. One was good. I liked three. I liked. I liked all of them except for two. I did not like the fourth one. The Quaker brand oatmeal is in bowl number 
three. Yeah. Oh, snap. The first one is Good and Gather by Target. They'll do it right sometimes. The second one is Kroger brand. Huh. Need some more flavor on that one, Kroger. And the last one is Great Value by Walmart. Y'all put too much weird flavor in that one. Last round features blueberry yogurt, and you're looking for Yo Plate. Yo Plate. Yo Plate. Or my plate. <laughs> <laughs> now this one has a nice swirl to it. It has a lot of fruit in it. Boy, that's a tasty yogurt. Mmm. That is a tasty yogurt. That is a tasty yogurt. I'd share that with a stranger Quaker. <laughs> On a mountaintop, wearing nothing but a beard. The cool thing about the Quakers though, is that I haven't been to one of their services, but if you go, there's not like a preacher. It's just people stand up as they feel led to say things, and then you just say things. It's like a it's, it's like a school board meeting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm ri and those are always those riveting. Are, those, those are the best these days. This one's really tangy, but artificial. It just sweet. It just doesn't bring the fruit flavor. I can't think that this one's going to bring the fruit flavor because I don't even see fruit. Yeah, uh, maybe the fruit's so blended. I think it's hard to mess up yogurt. Yogurt's good. <laughs> Everybody knows that. I, I, I'm just a fan of everything that you're putting in front of me today. Yeah, this is in a terms great of time. Genres. I just really like goopy snacks. I love it. It's just it takes the pressure off the chompers. You're probably not gonna like that one. Let me just tell you right up, right up front. Well, it's got whole blueberries in it. I don't hate it, but wow, it's a little, I don't know, something Something doesn't seem right about it. Something doesn't seem right about it. I wouldn't take that to the top of the mountain, but I am thinking about adding yogurt to my little pack that I take. That, that one is so tangy. So tangy. And this one's so fruity. I know, it's like, that. I'm torn. And this one's very uh, uniform, but very good. Three, two. One. Oh, you know oh. what? I, 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 I got to be honest. I saw you going for that one, and I changed my answer. Okay. Because well, I want to win. No shame in that. I don't want to tie. Well, no, play. I wouldn't have. I would have lost. I have to go with something different to tie. Correct. Yes. Is in cup number four. What? what? <laughs> so yogurt is any man's game, any brand's game. I don't believe. I don't believe y'all. That's so strange. Really? We didn't even like it. So what is number one, which we loved? That's 365 by Whole Foods. Good so job. good, so good. And, and Kroger brand? Kroger brought it. They brought Kroger. the yogurt. And yes, great Kroger. value by Walmart. I, they were all better than your place. Kroger brings that tang to the party. Oy, oy, oy. <laughs> All right, so this means that I've lost. Yes. You get to take a bite out of. No, you get to take a bite out of uh, a bad cup that has everything in it. Well, maybe it's good. Uh, we'll find out in Good Mythical More. Thanks for subscribing and clicking the bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Kat. Hi, I'm Tegan. And we're on a bus in, in Minnesota. Minnesota. And, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Ah, uh, they're both Quakers, I can tell. Click the top link to watch us play a bunch of cup games we found on TikTok and Good Mythical More. And find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is going to land. Get first degree monthly or annual for up to 60% off now through February 18th. MythicalSociety.com.